Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first, I would like to thank the uh, QCRC, the organizer, uh, Professor Magdi, Professor Bono, and distinguished uh, guests for uh, giving me the opportunity to present to you uh, our uh, Gulf uh, Care uh, uh, Registry. Uh, also, I would like to let you know that uh, we will be presenting uh, 10 uh, uh, abstract from the Gulf Care in the next week at the, at the American Heart uh, from Qatar. So disclosure, this uh, registry was financially support, supported by the unconditional grant from Servier and the Saudi component was funded by uh, Saudi Heart uh, uh, Association. Uh, basically, this is a Gulf Heart Association uh, project. It is multinational, multi-center, prospective, observational, hospital-based registry of patients admitted with acute heart failure with a three months and 12 months follow-up. Uh, this uh, re uh, this uh, registry, the lead uh, PI is Dr. Kazim Suleiman uh, from Oman. It, uh, it basically 47 sites are involved in this uh, in this registry uh, involving seven countries ethical approval is required and uh, the data were entered uh, on electronic uh, record uh, using the gulfcare.org this registry uh, has a clinical trial identifier number uh, the inclusion criteria, males and females above 18 years of age admitted to the participating uh, hospitals from February uh, 14th to November 13th, 2012 with admit, admission diagnosis of acute heart failure. So the, the exclusion criteria were a patient with acute heart failure who are discharged from the emergency room without admission or patient transferred from a non-registry hospital, or failure to inform and obtain uh, uh, informed consent. So uh, this is, uh, uh, would like to show you uh, just uh, to keep uh, track of all our uh, patients. We have those uh, slips. This one, it, it has, each patient has a special uh, number their name, uh, file, uh, uh, ID number, enrollment date, and the contact uh, number. These are kept at our files in the hospital, each uh, participating hospital. Uh, a, a copy is kept attached to the file, and a card was given to the patient here uh, in case he goes and get readmitted to the, to the hospital. So they will know, we will know that this uh, patient is participating in this uh, in this registry. So uh, we made sure that a each patient is uh, counted once only, and the readmission was captured on 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 follow up. So what about the hospital characteristic of the uh, Gulf Care uh, registry? So this is basically just showing you. So as I indicated earlier, we have 47 hospitals participating center, so this is a, a real world kind of uh, distribution. 22 of those are community hospital, eight of them are university, uh, 15 are non-university teaching, and two are, are private. And looking at the available facility, uh, 28 had a cath lab, 23 of the hospital had a cardiac surgery, uh, 18 had an uh, ICD uh, implanting center, 44 of them, they had ICU or CCU, and only in 14 of those hospitals, they had a heart failure clinic. So uh, what about the recruitment per countries? Uh, majority of most, 30% uh, came from Yemen, 20% uh, came from Saudi, 19.7% uh, came from Oman, 11% uh, came from Kuwait, 8% from UAE and 6.8% from Qatar and 1% from Bahrain. So what is the, uh, what, what is the uh, uh, try to characterize the type of uh, uh, heart failure? So we have in total of 5,005 patients. So it is equivalent to the, 
inter CHF uh, uh, study, and we divided the, uh, the patient into two groups, uh, heart failure with a preserved ejection fraction, and they were only 31%, whereas majority of them, they have reduced uh, uh, ejection fraction of almost uh, uh, 70%. Uh, looking at the uh, type of uh, whether they are first time presenting as heart failure, so we found 45% are de novo, and 55% uh, of them, they have acute decompensated uh, congestive heart failure with, uh, they have been uh, having history and uh, uh, an admission of heart failure in, in the past. So the de demographic, uh, looking at the age distribution, our, uh, uh, we have found that our mean is uh, 59 years, which are way a uh, younger population compared to the other Western uh, 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 registry. 63% uh, were, uh, were uh, males and 83% were a Gulf citizen. So what about uh, looking again uh, at the uh, mean age of, uh, of heart failure uh, patient comparing with the Western registries? So here is the Gulf Care, our mean age is again 59, comparing it to uh, a deer, which is a mean of 72 uh, years of age. Uh, a European heart failure survey too is uh, 70 and optimized heart failure is uh, 73. So, so here we could, uh, our, our population are really younger compared to the, to, to the Western uh, uh, registries. So what about the medical histories? Uh, we, we looked into uh, different uh, variables. Uh, uh, 47 of them had coronary artery disease, 13% had valvular heart disease. Interestingly, it, only 12% had atrial fibrillation, peripheral vascular disease, uh, stroke, uh, chronic kidney disease are of a smaller uh, percentage of presentation. Diabetes were 50% and uh, hypertensive is 61%. Uh, so majority of our patients, they are hypertensive, diabetic, and having coronary artery disease. So uh, smoking were 22%, uh, cut chewer were 18%, and alcohol 3.5%. Uh, 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 so what about the uh, looking at uh, uh, those common variables, which is hypertension, coronary artery disease, diabetes, and atrial fibrillation, and we compare them with the uh, other Western uh, registries. So the Gulf Care is in blue, and the others, ADIR, and the uh, European Heart Failure Survey. So regarding hypertension, we have observed that uh, the, they are very similar to the, to the Western uh, population. Whereas in, in coronary artery disease, our patients are younger, or, or sorry, they are, uh, they are lower uh, compared to the, to, the, to the Western, probably maybe they are uh, at, a, at a younger age. Whereas in, in uh, diabetes, they, we have predominant uh, diabetic population compared to uh, the other Western uh, uh, registries. And here, AF, it's way lower compared to the, uh, to the other uh, 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 registries. What about clinical presentation? So clinical presentation, the uh, mean heart rate was 97 per minute. The systolic blood pressure was 137 millimeters of mercury, diastolic of 81. And uh, basically, majority of them, they had uh, dyspnea, uh, orthopnea, uh, and uh, peripheral edema in 54%. Uh, looking at the New York Heart Association at the time of admission, so almost two-thirds of them, uh, they had the New York class three and four, and 22% uh, uh, they had the uh, uh, New York Heart Association class one and two. So majority of our patients admitted they have uh, uh, advanced form of uh, uh, a, new, a New York uh, classification. What about in-hospital course? Uh, 
we have observed 9.5% of them uh, received uh, non-invasive ventilation, 8.5% they were intubated, 16% received inotropes, 8% were in shock, 2.7% were on, on dialysis, and 10% had arrhythmia and requiring uh, therapy. Looking at the discharge medication, basically we were, uh, 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 we were uh, they were uh, discharged on appropriate uh, treatment, but this could be even optimized and it could be better. 71% uh, were on beta blocker, 78% uh, were on ACE, and mineralocorticoids antagonist 43%, diuretics in 94%, digoxin 25%, and evabradine in 5.2%. In uh, this slide basically show you pre-admission and discharge medication. So we are following the guidelines. We are, uh, just to answer Professor uh, 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 Miller, uh, basically we are following mainly the ACC, AHA guidelines and, and, the, and the European. So uh, pre-admission in ACE ARB, uh, it is, there is definitely uh, um, a rise from 69 to 74, with beta blocker from 57 to 78, and uh, mineralocorticoid from 27 to 48 uh, uh, percent. However, there is a uh, room to, to improve. Uh, lo looking at the etiology of heart failure, uh, 54 uh, uh, percent are of ischemic uh, heart disease, and the uh, excuse me, and 18% are due to uh, uh, cardiomyopathy, 16% uh, are hypertensive heart disease, and the rest are, uh, are valvular, myocarditis, etc. Uh, what about the precipitating cause of heart failure? We have, from our uh, registry, we have observed that 27% uh, the, uh, the cause for decompensation is due to acute coronary syndrome, and uh, the second uh, in line, 21% are uh, of the patients are non-compliant, uh, there is uh, compliance with the medication or, or diet. There are other less uh, frequent causes like infection, uncontrolled hypertension, uncontrolled arrhythmias, anemia, etc. So what about the hospital outcome? 89% uh, of the patients were discharged uh, home in hospital mortality were 6.3%, 1.8% were transferred to another uh, hospital, and 3% were uh, they uh, left against medical advice, and the median hospital stay was seven days. So we had a three months follow up, uh, uh, up to we had compliance of 98.4%, but all telephonic, and one year follow-up of 98.4, we have 68 of them telephonic, and 32% were uh, uh, clinic uh, visit. So regarding uh, follow-up here, readmission, in three months, 21% of them got readmitted to the hospital, and 42% got read, uh, readmission at the 12 month. Regarding median hospital stay, uh, mean of uh, six days, and device therapy, interestingly, is uh, v uh, quite low, 1.7 during in-hospital, 2.3, uh, 3 months, and 12 uh, months, 3.2%. Uh, and this is because many uh, participating centers, they, uh, they don't implant uh, uh, the, the devices. And, uh, and currently, we are looking into the heart failure pop population in the region. As Amr indicated, it is called a, a Gulf ICD. Uh, registry and we will look into the uh, percentage of uh, implantable defibrillator implanted uh, and we are one of the, uh, the participating uh, center and we are looking to uh, recruit 1,000 patients. Regarding revascularization, 7.4% received in while in hospital, 12% at three months and 20% uh, at uh, one year. So this is again uh, to show you the mortality in hospital, 6.3%. Uh, three months is 13%, uh, and one year is 20%, uh, which is similar to the Western uh, 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 standard and, and registries. 
So in conclusion, Gulf Care is the first multinational, multi-center prospective registry of acute heart failure in the Gulf and in the Middle East. Gulf Care patients are more than a decade younger than their Western counterpart with higher prevalence of diabetes and lower prevalence of atrial fibrillation. Ischemic heart disease is the most predominant etiology, while acute coronary syndrome and non-compliance to medication are the most common precipitating factor. There is suboptimal use of evidence-based medication and low rate of uh, revascularization and, and, and device therapy. Mortality rates are close to those reported fr uh, from the Western registries, but should be evaluated in light of the younger age of the Gulf care population. Uh, at the end, I would like uh, to thank our uh, uh, GHA board member, uh, lead PI, the Dr. Uh, Kazem Suleiman, the steering committee and national coordinators, Dr. Haytham Amin, uh, Jasim Al Suwedi, Wa'il Al Mohamed from UAE, Alawi Al Sheikh Ali from UAE, Ahmed Al Mutarrib from Yemen, Mustafa Rida uh, and Basim Bulbanat from Kuwait, Khalid Al Habib, Hussam Al Falah, Abdul Fattah Al Asfar from uh, Saudi. Uh, Dr. Mohammed Al Jarallah from Kuwait, myself, Noshin uh, uh, Bazargani uh, from uh, uh, UAE, and uh, thank you very much for listening.